new Canadian record holder. <laughs> you look very happy. Yes, relief. I think is the word. You know, just uh, you know, I just trained really hard for this this year. You know, after not making that team last year, it was just a uh, real, you know, just blow. And I think just watching the games last year just kind of, you know, just made me think like, how bad do I want this, and how bad do I want to be doing this for the rest of my life, and switch coaching uh, for with Win and. I owe him the world for this record, and same with Nate. Uh, I don't think I'd be here without Nate. Uh, Brennan is a training partner right now. He really took me under his wing, and you know, really taught me how what the lifestyle is of a post-collegiate runner and running on the international stage and what it takes. And you know, I trained really hard, and I was rewarded with finishing high in a major championship and getting the Canadian record. Uh, so what are you more surprised about this season? A Canadian record or sixth place in a world final? How are, you, are you surprised about either? You know, I think I'm a little bit more surprised at how high I finished, you know. Um, you know, coming into this, uh, in today, me and Winnie talk, you know, like I said before, like, um, I kind of put it out there on the line and said I wanted a medal, but, you know, you know, it was probably a little bit far-fetched, but, you know, you never know when you come to these finals. You know, you have a guy fall down in the finals, a couple of the Kenyans don't run well, and you're there for the, hunt, for the medal. And I felt great on Tuesday, and I came in feeling great today. And, you know, I, you come into these things, I, I'm not the type of guy that says, you know, I just want to finish 10th, or I just want to finish 6th, you know? I think uh, that my, my type of racing sets up, sets up well for competing and, you know, running hard. And I think, you know, when they really made the move hard there with 300 to go, I was kind of caught behind Mutai, and I think if I kind of position myself Self better with 600 to go. I think I would have been right in the in the hunt. And, you know, it's tough, but you know, six places to start and the Canadian record is great, so I'm happy. With it. Before the, what was the old record? Um, the record before was 812.85. Where did you run before the semis? Um, I was in London and I ran 820, which you know, just we went out at like eight minute pace, and you know, it was a tough race, and I just tried to hang in there. And I think it just kind of broke down a barrier for me, it's like it let me know I, I can go out there in 63, 64 second pace and hang on. And, um, I think it just set up well for these championships and gave me some motivation coming in, and uh, you know, just uh, gave me an extra little uh, bit of confidence coming in here as well. You talked about the kind of professional attitude that Nate's helped you get like what are you doing differently this year yeah you know Nate's guys he's been around the block you know before you know um, you know just eating and sleeping and you know I think in when I was in Daegu you know I, I was going out to the stadium and watching the events before my race you know I probably wasn't sleeping as well and I think me and Nate have only been out of our uh, hotel room to either eat or, or train you know we've really relaxed and you know you're here to do a job and your job's to run well and uh, compete for your country and and that's what I did here today. And uh, I think just having Nate there this year has helped me a lot and just seeing what it takes to get to that next level. Is it, is it a bummer you got to wait two years to do this again? <laughs> well, the good thing for us is we have Commonwealth. So uh, the Commonwealth Games next year, went, which won't be as big as a deal, but I think next year we're just going to kind of go in with the mindset of I want to get my 5K P, PB down. And I, I definitely think I can get my 15 down a bunch. And hopefully I can take a couple more seconds off my Canadian record now. <laughs> Awesome. Well, uh, Matt, congrats today. And uh, hope, hope, are we going to see any more races this summer? Um, yeah, so far um, I'm into Stockholm and I'm into Zurich. So uh, I'll stay here till the 19th and I'll be flying into Stockholm. And hopefully I can, you know, if I feel good in one of those two races, um, take a few more seconds off the Canadian record. If not, it's just a good experience and, you know, just a fun way to end the season. Awesome. Nice job out there. Yeah, thanks. Coming in kind of, did you time? In your head, what do you thought you could run? Yeah, the Canadian record. You know, I think talking with Wynn and we'd done some great workouts in uh, um, St. Moritz leading up. We did a, a, a great, a really great workout, um, like a 1200 type kind of workout over hurdles and 800. Um, and then we just kind of did like a simulation workout right before. And I think based off those workouts, we knew I was right around 810 pace off, off an evenly paced race. And, and I think that showed today. I, uh, I put myself up in it early and I. With, with a lap to go, I saw 704, and I knew we were a little bit slower than that in the in the heat um, a couple of days before. And I knew if I just kind of hung with those guys and stay tough, uh, I could just be under the Canadian record. So, yeah, it was good. Congrats <laughs> again.